Hi, I'm standing right in front of a freedom plaque in St. Augustine in the old slave market. And the St. Augustine during the Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation. Our nation's civil war was fought from 1861 to 1865 between the Confederate States of America and the United States of America. Battles did not come to St. Augustine, but Union troops occupied the city in March 1862. They remained through the end of the war and reconstruction. President Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation decreed that on January 1st, 1863, all persons held as slaves within any state in rebellion against the United States shall be then, this forward, and forever free. The proclamation formalized the freedom that enslaved people had claimed for themselves since the arrival of Union troops. On New Year's Day, 1864, the proclamation's first anniversary was celebrated in this plaza where the Confederate monument would later stand. The Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments to the U.S. Constitution brought new possibilities to St. Augustine's black residents earlier than other areas of the Confederacy. To own property, to marry legally, to learn to read and write, and for men to vote and hold public office. The Civil War was the ultimate war against civil rights in our country. Slavery was the ultimate form of civil rights abuse. In 1854, the Republican Party was formed to end the spread of slavery in the United States. Then, was nowhere near being united as a nation under God. Slavery was spreading from the South, East, to the West at a rapid pace. In 1854, the Republican Party opposed the Kansas-Nebraska Act put forth by the Democrats, which was an act to spread the institution of slavery. In 1861, Abraham Lincoln was elected as the first Republican president and the Democrat slave-holding South responded by succeeding from the Union and started the Civil War. The Democrat slaveholders in and outside the Confederacy would finally oppose Lincoln's proclamation. Some 620,000 people had to die before all slaves were freed, and even then the Southern Democrats held black people down through Jim Crow laws, lynching and segregation for another 100 years.